What is going on guys, DBG here and today lads we're gonna be talking about the new Evo cards in NBA 2K23, my team lads. So I bought a couple of these guys and we've got a couple of them here. So as far as the cards go price wise, Garland's obviously super expensive. The rest of them I think are relatively cheap, maybe not Karis Levert, but I think Karis Levert should be because he literally Evos to a card that he already has. So looking at these cards right here, I bought Bogdanovich for 5k, I bought um, DeJounte for 6k MT, which I don't think is a bad price for either of those guys. I'm pretty sure, if I'm, am I right in saying Karis Levert literally becomes a card that just came out two days ago? Like that is the most wild copy and paste ever, could surely he could have just... He to become the same car. Why? Like, what was the point? Like, what was the actual point of making them literally the same card? Like, surely should have one to two difference in badges, but no, they're the same card. So for Karis Levert, if anyone, and like, it's not even like it's a position change. The only change is primary shooting guard instead of secondary, instead of uh, primary small forward. That's literally the only difference between these two Karis Leverts. Except one of them is 40 intangibles, 60 shot IQ, the other is 60 intangibles. I, I don't even know, but like they're literally the exact same card. That is a kind of wild one. And like this Karis Levert's like 4,000 MT. So like if you're overpaying for this Amethyst Karis Levert to get the exact same card, literally on the off chance that Karis Levert has another playoff game to get a Galaxy Opal. I think that's kind of a wild one, to be honest. Like if you look at... Karis Levert from the playoffs team. Like, there's no way you should be more than 5k MT. Because you literally, you have to work. Like, you're paying 7k MT for a guy that if you just look, Karis Levert, pink diamonds. Oh, oh my god, it's the same crap as all the heroes are different, the same tier. Oh, that's really annoying. If you look at Karis Levert, pink diamond, the guy is way cheaper than 7k. Like you, I've seen Karis Levert pink diamonds go for 5k. So like, there's no reason to pay more for a card like that. For DeJounte, um, getting four steals is going to be grim. Um, getting two steals in a game is probably going to be kind of grim for uh, Bogdan. But again, I got these guys for combined 11,000 MT. So I don't, I don't mind that one too much. Um, when it comes to DeJounte, he goes to 12 hoffs. Where I say this one here has only 10 hoffs. So he is a little bit better. Like if you look at DeJounte's other pink diamond. He still has DeJounte on normal. Whereas this DeJounte here. DeJounte on very quick. Which is not terrible. Which is going to be a terrible release. Michael Jordan dribble stock. Kemba size up. Steph escape. Westbrook cross. Dame uh, move behind the back. Zach Levine hesitation. Um, quick drops off one. Six for five. Is this one six, C6-5? No, he grew an inch as well. Like, this is a really, really good point guard, by the way. Like, this guy, this point guard, is, he's so good. He's so good. I went for 6 KMT. And, like, when I get him evoed, he's so nice. Steel 82, which is fine. Um, please tell me he at least has gloves so I can use it on. Yeah, he has gloves so I can just strip this uh, semi-pro difficulty CPU. Let's put him and Bogdan in the backcourt. Like, he's really, DeJounte's really good. Like of all of them, like Dejounte is re he's the one that I he's one of the ones that I will say, yeah, Dejounte is that guy. Dejounte really is that guy. Thirty five golds, twelve Hall of Fames for Bogdan as well. Bogdan goes to ninety two speed, ninety two acceleration, ninety five three ball, ninety two lateral, eighty five driving dunk. No real defensive badges, but gets all the shooting ones. He gets Bogdan on very quick, which I don't know how good a release that is. Jamal size up. I really know how I feel about like Jamal Murray's size, to be honest. But normal leaner, which is big. Quick drops as well. Front clutches. Like, for four or 5,000 MT, you're really not, he's really not a bad option there for Bogdan. DeJounte, though. DeJounte becomes one of the... Pro DeJounte becomes probably a top 15 point guard in the game, I'd say. I'd say he probably becomes top 15. Um, whereas Bogdan is probably a top like 25 shooting guard, maybe. And I may be pushing it. But the big one that a lot of people are probably excited about is, um, is Darius Garland, who already has Garland on quick. He has the normal two-leaner, which is really interesting. He has trade dribble style. If they change his dribble style 
freaky MJ. What you're gonna do? They change freaking dribble style MJ. Just give one. Give me one player with Trey Young dribble style so that I can hit him with the double, the speed double cross. Just give me one player with this dribble style. He gets quick drops. He has his own size, which is insane. Trey escape. He gets the Trey fade. Really? They get rid of like when the only guys with the normal fade. They get rid of when the only guys with the normal fade. I get the Trey fade is better. Say not normal fade, normal two. I love the normal two leaner. But he gets all the playmaking, all the shooting goes to um gets really good stats. Ooh, his driving dunk goes to 90. Now that's that's interesting. Is Darius Garland gonna be good? Not really. Like he's not gonna be the greatest, but again, it, like it's Darius Garland. And the one thing I really like about this whole playoff concept is the fact that guys like Darius Garland, people are caring about these games. And that's what I've always said. Link basket link. The link your game to real life NBA, which is what 2K have done. It's just these cards, a lot of them are super, super rare. So I want to see what price Garland is. I think 7K for Levert's just, it's just an overpay, but obviously I get it. There is a little bit of a tax on Levert because he's the potential to get Evo'd even more, but I doubt that's going to happen. So I just want to see what price Darius Garland is as far as his playoffs card, because there is no reason, there is no reason why Garland should be more than 20k MC. 34k for Garland. I think I'm just gonna buy him because I'm gonna do a gameplay on him. But like, still, that's pricey. That is pricey for Garland, if we're being honest. So card evolution. Um, DeJounte. 29 points in a single game, four steals, not too bad. Or why am I looking at that again? So like at least Garland's gonna be a nice card. Garland's gonna be a nice card though, isn't he? Gonna be a lot better than like Davian Mitchell. Oh my god, the stu I genuinely, genuinely, there's nothing I hate more than like exhibitions being pointless this year. Um card of ev card evolution. 32, 7 assists, 6 three-pointers. That might be the easiest of all of these cards to get. And he does go up to a pretty decent card. So anyway, yeah, that is the video, lads. These th these four guys, I will say, the only one that I just wouldn't even consider doing is... If you're like a Cavs fan, go for Garland. If you're... Um, maybe maybe that's why you want to go for Levert to get him specifically. For Cavs, you want to get a playoff Levert. DeJounte and Bogdan, not bad options at all. Um, but DeJounte is by far, by far the best of all of these guys. Um, and then Darius Garland obviously going and getting himself a, um, a Galaxy Opal is huge. It is genuinely, genuinely huge because oh, he's going to be a fun card to use. But I'd say DeJounte is by far the best of all these cards today.